today's bid and ask prices of gold per gram in China. Take a look at this. Johnson Mathe, 999, it's four nines fine. Kilo bar, and that right there is out of Ontario, Canada with the assay card. Very nice. Uh, you don't see many of those in China. They like to mint their own bars. They don't uh, normally like to pay the premium of a branded bar like this from the West, but uh, that is a poured bar with a stamp on it and a serial number. I like that a lot. Seen it before. And the ICBC bars, of course, look similar. It's very similar, but the prices are different. They're going to be less. So many uh, jewelry stores across China have the gold price marked in the window daily. You can see right there, they've got the gold price, they've got the numbers they can flip the next day. And they do this because Chinese customers are very price savvy and well aware of the price of gold and silver per gram. And uh, that's what they are interested in, so that's what uh, everything is catered to. You know what the price of gold is, you know where to get it, you have a plethora of selection and uh, it's a win-win-win as uh, we look at possible stock market collapse in China, real estate issues and wow, hey, that's a nice piece right there. That's 10 grams, it's a 10 gram round, proprietary because uh, it doesn't have a mint name on it so it's probably a custom piece. Anyway, um, lots to look at. Just 269 per gram posted at this jewelry store. Only it's not just three nines fine, it's four nines fine. They've got silver, they've got gold, they've got the prices listed. Four nines fine. Four nines fine. Buddha gold foil and Buddha 30 gram round. Chinese like to do things in even numbers. 30 grams instead of 31.1 as you know. It's a very nice product. 5 gram Buddha gold card in a nice presentation box. You're looking at 2050 yuan. So a lot of these out last couple of years, especially this year. These gold foil cards of anything you can imagine, including Walt Disney World, Walt Disney Land. Three nines fine. Big hip hop style Buddha necklaces in solid gold. Yuan Bao. Turtles. Check this out. I'm not even sure what it's made of, but it is unique. That's a dragon, obviously, in a wooden box with some uh, nice design to it, but I'm not sure what it's made of. It almost looks like it's edible, like it might be a cheesecake. There you have it. 263 and 9.5 gold and silver per gram, respectively. <coughs> and they're aggressive with it. These are the famous older coins in China. You see, starting from the left there, the one with the Ford car, that's famous. That is very fine, rated 30. Next to it, you have um, Yuan Shikai, fat man coin, but it's a smaller version of it, which is rarer. You have next to that, you have uh, the Dragon coin, which is famous. That's in very good condition there, MS-62. For such an old early 20th century coin uh, you have another dragon coin you have the uh, fat man coin there with some toning around the edges that has an ms63 very good condition for that coin you have another dragon coin and so on and you even have the small head coin of the sun yet sun next to that un shirkai coin these are the famous old coins of china and there's two on the end that are very famous, the small head. 
and they're PCGS certified. You always want to buy a certified slabbed older Chinese coin because it's just too difficult for most people, novices, to know a real from a fake. Um, even after all these years, sometimes it's difficult for me to validate some of these older, more obscure coins um, that I haven't had a lot of contact with, such as right there on the left. Um, so always buy slabbed, always certify your serial number, and then you don't have to worry about the older coins. Now with the modern Chinese coins, such as the Panda and Lunar Series, you can easily uh, tell over time if you're buying a real or fake and um, I will of course talk more about that in upcoming videos. Uh, notes, uh, I would avoid them. There's no real need to buy Chinese notes because they're definitely not something you can sell in your country. Whereas with gold and silver you can because of its intrinsic value but the notes are just really more of a novelty thing for me. I mean Chinese buy, sell and trade them for big money and you can buy notes in a series and old notes with serial numbers that match and things like that but uh, actual real intrinsic value it's almost nothing and so um, I don't recommend any foreigner get involved with um, Chinese notes 